football peanuts because he threw his quarterback or former quarterback in Notre Dame, Deshaun Kaiser, under the bus saying that he should have come back to Notre Dame, which is just bad. Just don't say nothing at all. You clearly broke some type of man law with that. Jam from Snellville to Snooey, uh, the Stewie. Some smart aleck behavior in the chat room. I don't even know what it was. or Something smart. So y'all nominated his ass. Yeah, yes, you did. The rest from the national championship game for bad calls. Jay Williams. And I I didn't really talk about this, man, but there's this video floating around online on social media. Jay Williams, former point guard for the Duke Blue Devils, now TV analyst, uh, whatever guy, man. He He just threw unnecessary shade. You know, I don't have a problem with opinions, clearly. I don't have a problem with opinions. But... It was unfounded, unnecessary shade towards Patrick Ewan. Basically, what he said on this little minute-long video is Patrick Ewan, you know, he don't think Patrick Ewan, in a nutshell, he doesn't think Patrick Ewan was a, was a good fit and a good hire for Georgetown. Okay? Now, at the very end, he said that he thought that his former teammate or former Duke, I don't think they played together. Maybe they played together. I think he played after Hurley. But he said at the end of this little video, that he thought Danny Hurley or Bobby Hurley, I keep confusing uh, uh, Danny Hurley with Bobby for, uh, Hurley in their names, but he said that he thought that his former Duke uh, teammate, and I am pretty sure uh, Jay Williams was like a freshman and Bobby Hurley was like a junior or whatever, that he thought Bobby Hurley should get that job. Okay, that's cool. You rooting for your darn former Duke guy or whatever, that's cool. But, but everything that he said about Patrick Ewing, You could pretty much say that about any guy, you know, getting a coaching job. You could say that about any guy coming from the NBA going back down to college. He talked about, you know, he wouldn't be able to recruit. Can he do it? He really questioned Patrick Ewing's work ethic. You don't know shit about Patrick Ewing, man. So it was totally out of pocket, man. So y'all nominated for some ball peanuts. Uh, also, Bill O'Reilly for allegedly sexually assaulting thousands and thousands and thousands of women. And lastly, in my personal favorite, this is the guy that I voted for, Derek DeStewie for disparaging remarks about women. Derek had the nerve to say in 2017, he quoted the great James Evan from Good Times, the kitchen or the bedroom, Florida? The kitchen or the bedroom? Shame, shame, shame on you, Derek. So those are your nominees. Those are your nominees. Uh, go to the Doug Stewart Show Facebook chat group. Uh, it's actually it's listed under WSME. I keep forgetting that. We just made the change a couple of weeks ago. I'm used to saying the Doug Stewart Show. I have been saying it for over two years. So give me a, a chance to work that out and remember correctly. Go to WSME chat group uh, on Facebook. At the very top, it's pinned to the top and cast your vote for this week's Ball Penis Award winner. All right, we'll give that out a little bit later today. All right. We'll give that out a little bit later today. Uh, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. So we'll give out the Ball Penis Award in hour number three, uh, which the third hour, we call it the Power Hour. We'll make sure and do that. Um, hour number two. Let's back up to hour number two. We uh, talk birthdays and entertainment. Have a lot of fun with that. Um, and also, um, um, we're going to take a lot of your uh, posts today. Read a lot of your chat messages today on the Doug Stewart Show. Kind of let our hair down a little bit on a fantastic, freaky, funny football Friday. <laughs> Shouts out to... Uh, Shouts out to uh, 
Shouts out to my man Jeff Fox and Kesey last night. The Kicking It with Kesey show late last night, man, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and my man Jeff Fox, his show was on yesterday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I mean, shouts out to these brothers, man. Shouts out to the whole WSME family, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, like we're continuing to try to fill spots. The, the, the plan, the idea is to have around-the-clock live programming. OK, so, you know, we don't have that quite yet right now. But I mean, we really sound like a real radio station. We do. <laughs> we do. Right. And so here's the thing about it. Here's the thing about it. I mean, we technically if you go to WSME uh, radio dot com, that'll get you to the website where the shows air. If you go to WSMERadio.com, when you click into that link, whether there's a live show going or not, um, it'll play the last show on the network, the show before that, the show before that. So you literally can go back and listen to the podcast of the most recent shows. But daily, if you go to, the, to WSMERadio.com and you go there and there's a live show playing at the time, uh, you'll see a little block and it says live, a little red block and it'll say live. But literally, you can keep your radio tuned into your interweb or your computer or wherever you're at at your job or in your car, your listening device, and listen to WSME all day long. All right? Once again, we're trying to get a morning show. We're trying to get a late afternoon show, a late night show, and add to the lineup. But right now, we got a solid lineup with the Kicking It With Kesey show and uh, the Wait A Minute show with Jelani and, and the number one Chief Rocker Vern from Jersey and Vince Wright, Sports Done Right, and That Ninja, The Underground Railroad, Jeff Fox, Jeff Fox Show, uh, The Microwave Show, Cooking with the Microwave. We doing the damn thing! We doing the damn thing! So it's like no set schedule, but for most of the days, today we have no other shows coming up after me today. So today, I guess you kind of can get ready for your weekend a little bit earlier. But Monday through Thursday, we got pretty much two to three shows every day, you know, spanning from three hours to two hours or whatever, man. So, I mean, support uh, support uh, Stewart Media and Entertainment, man. Support WSME. Like my man Jeff Fox says, black sports talk matters. That's right. It matters. It matters. My man Emmett Bean says, y'all going to get that Sunday morning gospel show? You know what? We need to. I never really even thought about that. I just was so busy. Um, and I like suggestions and ideas and thoughts from the Stewies. I don't got all the sense, like my daddy used to say. I don't have all the sense. That would be a nice touch. And there are a lot of shows. I'm going to put Kesey on that. My man Kesey is like the hound dog. He'll go out and find a damn good show that fits with WS and me. Um... So, yeah, there's a lot of gospel shows that come on Spreaker on Sunday morning. I think that would be a nice little touch. I like that. Great idea, Emmett B. I like that. I like that. On Sunday morning, why not? That's a nice little touch. That's a nice little touch on Sunday morning. Um, so we do have a show coming up uh, tomorrow. Let me... Uh, let me let you know exactly who that is on Saturday morning. Uh, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Let me see if I can find it here. I'm looking through my notes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, we got BS3 Sports, the BS3 Sports Show. As a matter of fact, back up, not tomorrow morning. I'm thinking about something else. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, the BS3 Sports Talk Show. So stay tuned for that. Yes, sir. I've heard it. Very good show. That's right. The BS3 Sports Talk Show. You know what? I'm going to effort to try to get him on today. Um, and you'll have like a little uh, pre-show uh, conversation with the host of the BS3 Sports Talk Show, which once again airs, premieres tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're riding around Atlanta and you got your little – 
auxiliary little cord that you can just pop into your little um, internet connection there in your car if you're sitting at home or whatever, man, and don't have anything to do. If you follow the network, you'll get that alert letting you know that, you know, a show is going live on WSME. So make sure you follow the network. That's key. you got to follow the network. And it's very uh, unintrusive. It'll send you a little email uh, once again or uh, uh, an alert on Facebook or Twitter. So, so support WSME, man. We really, really do appreciate your patronage. We really do. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Lonzo Ball and the UCLA Bruins got put out you know, last uh, last week or the week before last in the Elite Eight. Was it the Elite Eight? Yeah, I think it was the Elite Eight. They lost to Kentucky. And um, so you haven't heard a lot from uh, the daddy, LeVar Ball. Um, he done done it now. <laughs> in a nutshell... LeVar Ball said the reason why UCLA didn't win the national championship because they got a bunch of punk-ass, slow-ass white boys on their team. <laughs> right. That's what he said. Now, he didn't say it quite like that, but that's what he said. When we get back, man, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Don't go away. Back in three minutes to Doug Stewart Show. Trouble, we ain't ducking none either. 